Do you have internet connectivity problems? Continue watching for possible solutions. Before we start, you must know what gives us internet. The box, black box pointed at right now is called a modem. A modem connects, in my case, to a phone line, which is DSL, and gives you internet. For a cable provider, you will have a very, very similar box, but you will have a coax cable going into the back, giving you internet. From the modem, you have an Ethernet cable, which goes over to a router, and from your router, you can split off into to multiple computers to connect all your computers to internet. In many cases, you might have a combined box, which has both the modem and router built into one unit, which usually when you sign up for internet service, your service provider will give you for free, or at a small fee. One of the easiest ways to troubleshoot a router is to cycle your router and modem. Cycle means to unplug it from power and wait about 10 seconds. So you unplug the power here. You unplug the router here. You wait about 10 seconds. Because it has to, what happens is you need to drain all the power out. Sometimes power is, takes a little while to drain all the power out from the components. And if the memory doesn't get cleared from having power left, you won't fully cycle the modem. It's been about 10 seconds. So plug it back in. The modem. Wait until your modem's fully started back up. You should see all green lights on it once it's started up. In the case of the combined modem and router, it shouldn't really matter. I've found sometimes when you have separate like this, it, it doesn't reconnect if you start both at the same time. It's best to start the modem first. See the DSL light starting to reconnect. DSL lights reconnected. And there's the internet light. Once that all pops on, the Ethernet cord light won't pop turn on until you plug in the router. And when you plug in the router, that should start up. Should take another about probably 10 seconds for everything to boot up. And you should have internet again. If that doesn't fix it, continue watching, and I'll have more possible solutions to your problem. Another possible solution would be to fully shut down your computer. Not restart, just fully shut down, and repress, once it's shut down, press the power button to turn it back on, and it's possible that could also fix your internet connectivity issue. If problems still persist, then, I would call your service provider and ask for a new modem. That's that ended up being what my issue was. I I cycled probably over a hundred times, changed wires out, rewired my house. The only to know the problem was my modem was uh, going bad. I have an old modem over on the side of this video, and it was replaced by this modem. And I haven't had an issue since. Before with the old one, I would drop constantly. I could barely get through a, a two-hour game online. I could, uh, if even that, I would try and upload a video to YouTube. And it would cut off in the middle of it. And then it would, I would have to re-upload it. And it takes forever to upload a video. So, you, when you call your service provider, they would probably do the same exact thing. Tell you to cycle your router modem. But just be patient. We had to call about six times before we actually got anything accomplished. 
and they sent out a new modem for free and everything's been good since so just be patient and all should be good if you have Wi-Fi troubleshooting issues there will be a link somewhere in this video uh, about going to the Wi-Fi troubleshooting this is more so for just general troubleshooting like wired internet you shouldn't have any settings in the router that will block you from connecting through wired through ethernet but if you're connecting through wireless there's possible settings in your router that will cover in a separate video link somewhere in here so that you can figure out uh, how to connect your laptop or other wireless device to your network thanks for watching please subscribe and check out my Facebook channel below.